Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Boxing Time TV. Today we have what I think is going to be a very explosive fight. We have Sergey Kovalev, fresh off of two losses to Andre Ward, taking on, I think his name is Vyacheslav Shabransky. I'm just going to say Mr. Shabransky for the remainder of this broadcast because I'm probably going to be butchering his name. Um, as you can see, Sergey Kovalev is four years older. Um, Shabransky has three inches on him. I made him the same weight. Um, Shabransky has three inches in reach. Uh, Sergey Kovalev has more fights, but they both have a lot of knockouts. And Sergey Kovalev does have a stoppage loss on his record, but he wasn't stopped in the way that Shabransky was stopped against Sullivan Barrera, where it was like an accumulation of punches, and then Shabransky, you know, got hit by by Barrera. It looked like in the back of the head, and he went down. The ref stopped it. So let's get right to this. Um, let's get right to this. It's scheduled. This fight scheduled for twelve rounds. And it's three minute rounds, 10 point must scoring system, no mandatory eight count, three knockdown rule wave. Once again, my name is Evan Jacobs, and you're watching Boxing Time TV. You can certainly follow me on Instagram. Um, Boxing Time with Evan is my handle. And please um, like, comment, and subscribe on these YouTube videos. I'm trying to get back to doing one to two of these a week. I had a run where, you know, where like a few weeks ago I was doing like a few a week. Um, it, and I have a list here, a lot of, a lot of fights I want to, I want to do, um, especially the, um, Anthony Joshua Kubrat Pulev fight, um, definitely going to try to make that one next, and I just, I just have a bunch, and I just kind of make notes, and then I sort of do what makes me, what kind of comes up, and already you can see Sergey Kovalev hurt Sharansky, looked like he hurt him to the, uh, body, and Kovalev just, you know, kind of like he, Looking sort of like he did against Andre Ward in that first fight where he comes out and he's very, very sharp. And, you know, this is already moving at a quick pace. We're already through the first minute. And, yeah, I just, I love doing this podcast. I love doing, um, you know, I love doing um, these simulated fights, kind of putting them on and, 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 and you know, saying, hey, you, you, know, you know, what could happen when these guys fight? And I especially like doing fights. When I first started this, I was doing fights that, I wanted to see and that I always wanted to make. And then I realized it's really good to make present fights and fights that are coming up in the future. I think people really appreciate that. And I want to do all fights, big, small, whatever. Um, you know, all, although, and, and what's interesting is sometimes the smaller fights, the fights you don't think anyone are going to care about, those are the ones that people are more interested in because everyone's already covering the big fights. So um, I've done a lot of talking. I've, this has just been a big word salad, to quote the great Dan Levitar. And, um, yeah. Right there, Shabransky, uh timing and catching Kovalev with a pesky left left hand. Um, I think if Kovalev can string his punches together, he could probably catch Shabransky with with something. Um, I, I think overall we have a really interesting fight, and I think this is going to be an interesting fight. I'm not sure where this is taking place. I'm going to look that up, kind of kind of get you more info information on this as we are doing this. And um, once again, you have Sergey Kovalev on the um, left side of the screen, and you have Shabransky on the on the right. Okay, here we go. Just going through. All right. Okay. Opening up, just so I can give you guys some more information on this. As we watch this, also I don't know if, if you guys are you know how much you guys follow boxing, but Bodu Jack is going to be fighting Dimitri Bivol. I'm actually that's a that's a fight I certainly want to make for Bodu Jack. Um, I think that, that is certainly um, a fight that people will be interested in, and I think that um, Bivol is going to win that. As you can see. Sergey Kovalev took that first round, um, and I think Bodu Jack is a very good fight for Dimitri Bivol, um, and and I I'm I'm thinking that Bivol is going to win, even though, I mean I'm I'm, I'm assuming that Bivol is going to have to come down and wait and fight at super middleweight because I, I don't believe Bodu Jack is although he is a light heavyweight. So I'm just I'm learning. Oh wow! Oh wow! Sergey Kovalev landing from a distance. Just seems to be having his way, taking completely, taking, um, 
completely taking um, Shabronsky out of the fight and um, coming in, trying to find that information on um, on Kovalev Shabransky. And honestly, by the time I find it, this thing may be, may be over. Um, Sergey Kovalev right now looking really sharp. Even though Shabransky is able to touch him and hit him, the, the punches of Shabransky don't seem to be affecting him too much. Um, but we'll see if that continues as the fight goes on. Um, this is a very tough... Oh, wow. Shabransky coming back. Certainly does not want to want to lose and certainly doesn't... Oh, wow. Shabransky's roaring back. If anything, it's almost like he's making um, he's making Kovalev pay for having that success. And Kovalev's been doing really good counterpunching him. So, yeah, you know, we 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 have Shabransky. Trying to trying to set something up, trying to counter punch, trying to set traps as he's trying to roar back into this fight in some way. But so far, it has been all Sergey Sergey Kovalev. Now you know I'm not able to find that right here. I'm gonna I'm gonna go now to um, oh look at that look at that poleaxing right right hand. This is the fight that Sergey Kovalev likes. He doesn't want to have to look for his opponents. He wants to stand straight up and just have go toe to toe. He believes he can beat anyone in the world doing doing that. And ultimately, you know, Andre Ward, while it's debatable if he won the first fight, clearly won the second fight. Broke had solved the puzzle of Sergey Kovalev. And I just think that Andre Ward hadn't, you know, really you know, he was still kind of rusty, even though he'd come back, he'd beaten Sullivan Barrera, um, and he'd beaten another fighter. Uh, just not, you know, just Kovalev was really, you know, maybe at the top of his game, then maybe he's going to come back to the top of his game. Um, we have Kovalev. All right. Oh, wow. So Sergey Kovalev. He's going to be making his comeback against Vyacheslav Shabransky. Um, I'm, I'm going to find out more about this. And as you can see, he is he took one of the rounds by two points. He didn't even score a knockdown. He's seven points ahead as we come out here. Once again, you're watching Boxing Time TV. My name is Evan Jacobs. Please follow me on Instagram, Boxing Time with, with Evan. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please share the, the these um the these simulated fights with your friends and please 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 maybe the most important of all um send me fights that you want to see direct message me um email me i i want to know exactly what you want to see because i just want to fill this page with content i want to you know be doing two maybe even three of these a week i i, I just i really 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 enjoy it and um you know whether you like it or not i want to hear from you So this is going to be, oh, actually, I made it a 12-round fight. It's actually going to be a 10-round fight on November 20, on November 25th um, in Madison Square Garden. Um, oh, wow. So, yeah, it's only going to be a 10-round fight. And yeah, it's going to be November, it's going to be November 20, 25th. So you can, I mean, you know, this is a tall order for a comeback fight, even though it seems like Shabransky's made to order for him. Shabransky's not coming to lie, to lie down. And, and right now he's certainly fighting like he wants to be here. And even though Kovalev seems to be breaking him down, Shabransky's hitting him. He, he's, he's hurting him. And, you know, after having two losses, you know, it's, 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 it's just a difficult thing. It's a difficult situation. So we will we will have to see what transpires. As Kovalev goes to the body of Shabransky, appears to be breaking him down with with power shots. And you know, as we head into the final minute, it makes me wonder about Kovalev just in the sense of, you know, if you're a fighter, just finding a slicker way to win, 
could be, you know, could be, if you can fight slick against him, maybe you stand a better chance of beating him. That is if you can get past those rough, those rough and tumble moments. Kovalev jabbing, using that, using that left jab to set up the right hand. Shabransky kind of doing the same thing. These guys are sort of mirror images of each other. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that left hand by Kovalev. But Shabransky's landed well himself. We're in the final 10 seconds of this, the third round of Sergey Kovalev versus Vyshlav Shabransky. I'm probably saying his name wrong. Please correct it. In the comments. Saying Shabransky's tired, Kovalev's breathing, breathing heavy, although Shabransky roared back and he got even on one judge's scorecard, um, won on another judge's scorecard, and lost on the other one. So Sergey Kovalev is still seven points ahead as we move out for the fourth round. And like I said, this is only a 10 round fight. That's probably what I should have made it. But you know, can't cry over spill milk. I gotta be honest, I don't think you guys are gonna be getting um I don't think it's gonna go all 12. I could be I could be wrong though. And I was also wrong if you watch the rematch of Sergey Kovalev versus Andre Ward. Uh, uh, Kovalev knocks him out on the simulation. In the real fight, of course, Kovalev got stopped by an Andre Ward that came back fresher, stronger, tougher, and had figured out the puzzle of Sergey Kovalev. Ward going, Ward going to the body. Oh, these two trading. Oh, Sergey Kovalev landing, landing well. But you know what I've noticed? He's, it's almost like he's doing what Iron Barkley did against Roberto Duran. He's like hitting him. And then he's admiring his work, and that's never good. Because you gotta string your punches together. And it's something that Sergey Kovalev knows, but maybe there's just something about Shabransky. He doesn't want to extend himself like that, doesn't want to waste punches, wants to be economical. I understand all this. At the same time, Kovalev does not want to lose. Kovalev kind of fighting from a distance, finding finding um Success fighting at long at long range. He goes, he goes to the body. And it's almost like he wants to kind of start punishing Shabransky against the ropes. Shabransky makes him makes him pay. <laughs> Excuse me, I've been a bit under the weather. Probably gonna go get some water at some point. Maybe in, maybe in between rounds. You can time easy if it's longer than a minute. Oh, look at Shabransky coming, coming back. Oh, Lanza, Lanza, left, left hand. And I gotta tell you something, he's hanging tough. It's Kovalev early, Shabransky late, although Kovalev landed two hard right right hands. We're, we're on the final few seconds of this round. And Shabransky certainly showing he came here to win. Oh, Kovalev has a cut over his eye, and Shabransky's tired. They're saying Shabransky's tired. Interesting. All right, let me go get the water. All right, <laughs> in the fifth round, we scheduled a 12-round fight, which is really only supposed to be a 10-round fight. Kovalev cut. And that's the thing, is this becomes tricky because if Shabransky can be kind of a cutie and hang on, 
and use that to his advantage, he can open up that cut. And even though he's behind, they're going to go to the judges' scorecards, and the game isn't going to care. And he, Chabransky, could could very well win because they don't go to the judges' scorecards. They're just going to stop the fight if the cut gets too bad. So Sergey Kovalev is going to want to be really smart with his punches, really smart with how much he puts himself out there. Because Shabransky was dangerous before, now he's even more dangerous. <coughs> Kovalev trying to land those punches from long range still, pinpoint accuracy. And that's the thing, is he comes in on the inside, Chabransky's hitting him with body shots, although Chabransky just got hurt, Kovalev has him, oh, he's teeing off, oh, did you see that left hand, wow, Sergey, Sergey Kovalev, when he got him hurt, he dropped him, he, he executed well, and, and this is the kind of fight that, that really, I mean, I'm saying this is the kind of fight that he loves, and, and, and will he take over now? Will, will Sharansky, you know, somehow find a way to stay in this fight the way that Andre Ward did and ultimately won a decision? We will have to see because Shabransky is throwing out the left hand. He's, he's, he's really trying to keep Kovalev at a distance. We're heading into the final minute. And Sergey Kovalev certainly wants to capitalize. This fight's going to be on ESPN. Uh, but you can watch it here on Boxing Time TV. I thank you for watching it. Once again, my name is Evan Jacobs, and you are watching Boxing Time TV. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please share these links with your friends. Please let me know fights that you want to see. Direct message me or email me. I'd love for you to know. I mean, I'd love for you to let me know what you think and let me know what you what you want. And you saw Kolob just strung his punches together quickly, and he got Chabransky. He, he dropped him hard. And, oh, oh, he hurt Shabransky again with that left hand. This has been a very big round for, oh, oh, Sergey Kovalev has him hurt again. He's, he's just, you know, now he's, he's teeing off. And we're in the final few seconds. It looks like Shabransky's going to, going to hang on. Although he ends good with two left hands on an uppercut and a straight left. Let's see what the, let's see what the judges say as, they're saying that Kovalev is very tired and has a cut over his eye. They're saying Shabransky is very tired and has a cut over his nose. Kovalev won that round big by two points on all the judges' scorecards. He's now ahead by like 16 points. Let's move into the sixth round and see if Sergey Kovalev can capitalize on that. Or, you know, does this become a bloody, you know, mess of a fight? Certainly, I'm sure Kovalev would rather not have been cut. Seems like he's trying to set set traps. Did he punch himself out in that round? Is he... is Chabransky, is he playing possum? Does he want Chabransky to extend himself and then he's going to hurt him? This remains to be seen. These two guys are are very much. Um, they're saying they're saying that they're tired and they're both looking for their for their spots. And so it looked like Shabransky was going to kind of try to capitalize on something, maybe come out and show that he wasn't that hurt. Neither guy's landing much. A lot of posing from Shabransky. Kovalev just controlling it, just by the fact that he's throwing more shots. Kovalev jabbing, trying to set up that right hand again. Maneuvering Sharansky to the ropes. It seems Kovalev seems to feel that if he is quick and if he is, you know, if he swings his punches together, he can in fact sure he can in fact stop Vyshlav to Shabransky. So these guys, you know, it seems like they're they're tired. We're at the halfway point of this fight. And Kovalev sort of, uh, you know, almost not unwilling to engage Shabransky more, really wants to fight from a distance. And 
you know, the fans are going to start booing. And you guys out watching this may even turn this off as Sergey Kovalev lands a shot to the body. And he may be looking at this like, why do I want to take the risk? He, he, he just gets popped right there. Oh, he punches Sharansky into the ropes. Oh, he has Sharansky hurt again. He has Sharansky hurt again. He, he, although he doesn't follow up. And so we move now. Looks like we're going to go into the seventh round. And Sergey Kovalev is, is very, very much fighting um, a controlled fight, a measured fight. It's not looking bad by any stretch of the imagination. Not looking amazing, though. Not really looking like the superstar that he is. We're in the final 10 seconds. And Sergey Kovalev probably won this round. Maybe even 10-8 on some of the judges' scorecards. Like I said, 10-8 on one, 10-8 on another, 10-8 on another. So now he's up by 21 points. So we're moving into the seventh round. These two guys coming, coming out, both landing punches, both trying to land punches. Shabransky. Maybe feeling like Kovalev's tired out. And now he's going to start pressing him. They're jabbing. Kovalev catching him. And, you know, well, that's this is the one thing. You know, not a lot of people want to see this as a, as a tactical fight. And... And Shabransky catches him coming coming in and goes to the body and then Sergey Kovalev now catches him and you know this is the kind of thing that you know whoever does more I mean obviously Sergey Kovalev has done more done more damage but these two guys are really going going for it and they're landing a lot of shots. This is a this oh Shabransky going to go into the body. Maybe trying to follow up on what Andre Ward did. Once again, you are watching Boxing Time TV. My name is Evan Jacobs. Please follow me, Boxing Time with Evan, on Instagram. Please like, comment, and subscribe on this page. Please um, share these links. Tell me the fights you want to see in the comments. And, and email or direct message me. Oh, wow. Shabransky has an opportunity here. He has, he has Kovalev against the ropes. And if he can rough him up, if he can open up that cut, I mean, he's got nothing to lose. So the longer he's in this fight, the more he's throwing punches, the more that favors Shabransky. Wow, these two guys really putting on a good performance. I give Shabransky a lot of credit. He's hanging tough. And Kovalev, and Kovalev is too. Kovalev's taking all those shots. And, you know, he doesn't want this fight to get away from him like the Andre Ward fight did. Man, Chabransky landed just a hard left, left hand. Every punch these guys land is a, is a potential fight, fight stopper. Oh, man, he lands another right hand. And I'm telling you, man, these guys are going for it. This is a really good light, light heavyweight fight. And I don't think that Chabransky's out of this by any stretch of the imagination. I think he's behind a lot, but I think that he's landing well. And I think the judges' scorecards are going to reflect that in this next round. See? Chabransky. It took that round over Sergey Kovalev up on two of the judges' cards. One of the judges gave it to Kovalev. <coughs> We're moving into the eighth round. Kovalev coming out. He seems to be wanting to make a statement. Jabbing. Kovalev coming coming out now, and 
He wants to set Shabransky up against Rose, but the problem is he's 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 fighting at such a distance. He's giving Shabransky the opportunities to pretend to still be in this in this fight. And as long as he does that, Shabransky's going to be throwing punches and he's going to land like he just did right there, and he has the potential to open up the cut on Sergey Kovalev. And and now it's only a twenty point fight, which may not seem which may seem like a lot for Kovalev. Oh, Kovalev wobbles him. Kovalev wobbles him. Oh. He yeah he knew he had Chabransky hurt. He landed that he landed that left. Oh, this is this is one of those fights it becomes you know, it's almost wow, he really cracked Chabransky hard with that left hand. Like you saw his whole body wobble. And Chabransky, you know, for all the good work he started doing, it's just not enough. And 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 you know, he, he's got to start putting more together because he's losing this, this fight. He'll only have four more rounds. And technically, he should only have two. According to my, uh, I should have researched this better before I put this fight on. But hey, it's a simulation. It's fun. And maybe they'll make it a 12-round fight before it actually gets, gets started. So Shabransky jabbing, jabbing on Sergey on Sergey Kovalev, and right now I mean this is probably Kovalev's Kovalev's round. He's jabbing. He's he's doing the things that he needs to do. He's controlling it. He's throwing more uh, punches. That left hand that he landed that wobbled Shabransky really sapped the strength of him. Let's see what the let's see what the judges say now. Kovalev has a gash over his eye. And if Shabransky can land on that, he and if he can hang in there, he is going to get a stoppage over Sergey Kovalev. But the really odd thing is it's gonna be that that's a twelve this is a twelve round fight. It's not a ten round fight like it's gonna be in real life. And even though Kovalev won that round by five points on the judges' scorecards, I don't know. I don't know. This is gonna be very, very interesting. So Shabransky, if I'm Shabransky, I come out and I jab, and I throw as many punches as possible, and I keep Sergey Kovalev away from me. And Sergey Kovalev has to know that this is that he's in trouble because that pun, because that's now a gash, and this is asking a lot of him in a comeback fight, in which he's already lost twice to Andre to Andre Ward. Shabransky's got him against the ropes, and he's pushing him against the ropes, and he goes to the body. And maybe that's what happened. He just sapped a lot of the strength from Sergey from Sergey Kovalev. And, you know, the thing is, for Shabransky, he's got to go for it. He's got to risk being knocked out. He is behind on points. And if he can string this together, they are going they are going to stop this. Because that is, you know, a gash. They will stop it. Oh, and he wobbles Sergey Kovalev. Oh, this is, oh, and Sergey Kovalev comes back. What an, what an interesting fight we have here on Boxing Time TV. Sergey Kovalev up by 24 points and on the verge of losing to a Vyacheslav Shabransky, and I know I'm saying his name wrong, who hung in there. And look at how he just punches him against the ropes. And any minute now, they could stop this. The computer could think, hey, Kovalev, you know, he's, take, he's too bloody. He's taking too many, too many punches. And Shabransky really is... Coming, coming on in this, the ninth round. He lied in wait. Oh, and he takes a right hand from Sergey from Sergey Kovalev. Oh, and another right hand. Oh, he certainly, he certainly does not want to get to get stopped now. He's he's really, he has fought hard, and you know I love Sergey Kovalev, and I want to see him pull this out. But it, it, it's, it's it's asking a lot of him. He you know we're coming down to the final to the final minute. And Vyacheslav Shabransky is is doing everything in his power 
to make this um, not Sergey Kovalev's night. Oh, and he wobbles Kovalev. He wobbles Kovalev there. Kovalev, it, it is. Oh, there's. Oh, and he wobbles him again. He wobbles him again, and 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 he's landing that left hand. Oh, and he lands the right hand. And he goes to the body. Shabransky continuing to land. Has a really good ninth round. The crowd's got to love this. We're heading into the tenth round. Like I said, this is only in real life a ten-round fight. And now they're saying that Kovalev has a gash. Shabransky has a bloody nose. This could be stopped at any second. Shabransky clearly took that round. We're heading into the 10th, 11th, and 12th. In real life, there's only going to be a 10-round fight. So this fight isn't technically as legit as it, as, it, as it could be. But, you know, hey, if it gets stopped before it goes into the 11th round, um, you know, you got to love it. And maybe that's what we're really going to see in the, uh, in the, in the actual fight. Shabransky coming out, jabbing, going to the body, punching Sergey Kovalev. Shabransky behind by 21 points and is going gonna, is gonna to need to stop him. He's going to need to stop Sergey Kovalev. Probably is. He spent a lot of rounds not doing it and he was conserving his energy. And it's paying off for him here. But if Sergey Kovalev can just hang on for these final three rounds and not lose too badly, he can probably get a decision. Who knows, maybe they'll make this a 12-round fight before it happens, and then that'll add some more legitimacy to it. Oh, cool up landing, landing a right hand. Opening up the face of Vyacheslav Shabransky. Oh, he's jabbing. <coughs> jabbing some more is, is Shabransky just trying to set Sergey, Sergey Kovalev up as Kovalev parries along the ropes, takes some, takes some shots to the head, and Shabransky really trying to unload now. He, he, he's going to the body. Oh, and he rocks into the body again. And at any minute now, this fight could be could be stopped. I think that that's probably what we're going to see as Kovalev goes to the body. Oh, this this fight really taking on a lot of a lot of interesting things happening as Vyacheslav Shabransky really showing that he did come to win. Oh, and he lands a hard left hand, and Kovalev lands, lands a hard left left on him, and these two guys are just trading and landing at will, and Shransky going to the going to the body, and I mean, I mean this. Bow could be stopped at any point, and who knows who the computer would give it to. So right now, we move a little more out of the realm of reality as we head into the 11th and 12th rounds. In real life, this fight is not slated to have that. Although Shabransky, another round for Vyacheslav Shabransky. Um, although, I'm sorry, one of the judges scored card, although another judge gave it to Kovalev, but another judge gave it 10-8 to Shabransky. Um, Shabransky up by 19 points. Clearly needs a knockout to win. Oh, go into the body. These two guys are going to gonna do everything in their power now.
He lands a he lands a left hand. And these two guys are, are just, you know, Kovalev is really trying to get back in this. And Sharansky's feeling, you know, he's just, oh, and he's wobbled. Sharansky, Sharansky's wobbled. He takes another shot. Two hard left, left hands. Both of these guys, it's, it, this is a, this has been just a brutal slugfest brawl. Both guys wobbling each other, coming back at various times. Tremendous back, back and forth action. And Kovalev lands a hard right, right hand. And right now, he lands another one. And just gets, and gets Shabransky to back off. That's the thing. When Kovalev wobbles him, it takes a lot out of Shabransky. And Ken Kovalev, does he have enough now? Does he have enough just to, just to stop him and really turn back the challenge that was Vyashlav Shabransky? Jabbing. Is Kovalev and staying at a distance, and he's just got to stay on his feet for four or for four minutes and not have the fight called because of his because of his cut, and he wins. But man, Shabransky's tough, and he's letting it all hang out now. He he wants to win so badly. The, oh oh, but he gets dropped now by Sergey Kovalev in the eleventh round. Sergey Kovalev, and it doesn't look like Shabransky's gonna gonna get up. Doesn't look like he has it in him. Sergey Kovalev pulling it out of the fire. Pulling it out of the fire against Vyacheslav Shabransky. What an excellent back and forth fight. Sergey Kovalev, the winner by knockout. The fight lasted 11 rounds. Kovalev was not knocked down. He has a gash over his eye. Shabransky was knocked down two times. Has a bloody nose. As you can see, Kovalev up by five points. Up by eight points. And up by six points. And here's the thing. This was a great fight with a lot of terrific back and forth action. Once again, you've been watching Boxing Time TV. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please share these links. Please tell your friends. Please direct message me or email me and let me know the bouts that you want to see. I'll make it, I'll make every effort to make them. The next bout I believe I'm going to do, like I said, is going to be Badu Jack versus Dimitri Bivol. Thank you very much for tuning in. We'll see you at the fights.